years ago, I, I was scrolling through YouTube and I saw a video that caught my eye. And this video had something to do with shipwrecking yards in third world countries. This one, I think, was based in Africa at one of those shipbreaking yards, but there's also other countries that do shipbreaking yards. I knew about boats being beached to be dismantled, but I didn't know a lot about the process of ships being dismantled for scrap and taking parts out to reuse and stuff like that. This 30-minute documentary really opened my eyes on the conditions that these people are working in and they're terrible. Daily, people are getting injured and people are dying, breaking ships down. It is not very well regulated and these people that are working in these ship breaking yards are not making very much money at all. It's like a hundred dollars or less is what I remember. I might be wrong on that. It needs to be looked into, the conditions that these people work in to dismantle these ships. It needs to be done in a safer way, where people won't get injured. Some of these people that get hurt will not be able to work ever again in that industry because they are so badly injured, and just for breaking ships down, they're very underpaid. It's very dangerous work. We need to work to make it better for these workers and safer, and one way that I think would really put a clamp down to make the owners of these companies change the way they do things. They're making a ton of money from breaking ships down while they're paying their workers a very small fraction of what they make. And some of these people that own these companies are politicians in those cities or countries where they own the shipbreaking industry. And one way that I believe would help change is to put embargoes or stop buying this metal from these companies that would really tighten the grasp on them, and maybe that would help bring them to the bargaining table where you can bargain to make the working conditions safer and to pay the workers more than what they're getting, and make rules and regulations to make that industry a lot safer. Because right now, it is not safe at all. It's very dangerous. Family members that get severely injured or die, they don't get paid very much afterwards. It's a very small sum and they'll have a very hard time bringing in enough money to support their family. And there's a lot of young kids working in this industry and there's teenagers and basically these families are working there and these families have been shipbreakers for a long time. It runs from generation to generation to generation. These people are working for very little money. They barely have enough money to support themselves. And that is just not right. It's time the world opens up and sees what's really going on with these shipbreaking yards. Also, these shipbreaking yards, they will not let anyone come in and film because they know that if people were allowed to come in and film these shipbreaking yards, that it would really show the really bad working conditions. And somehow we need to show more of this to get this to change. This documentary really opened my eyes up into what shipbreaking really is and what really goes on. I would really like you guys, after seeing this video, look up shipbreaking yards and you might see documentaries about this and I really want you guys to start spreading the word to your friends and family and so on. Just because we need to raise awareness about this it's time to make some really big changes in that industry and help make the working conditions a lot safer. It's time we do our part to change this industry for the better. Thank you guys for watching, and if you ain't dreaming, you ain't living. Don't forget to dream big.